Oh my god, guys. Holy crap. Okay, so today is Friday. So since I don't work tomorrow, I, uh, we're having, you know, wear your green today at work. So I have all my green on. I made these. I crocheted them. Anyway, so I live about two miles from the gas station where I used to work. And I drove home last night. My car was running fine. No indicator lights, no nothing. And I get in the car to leave for work and I get halfway to the gas station, so about a mile down the road, and my car starts saying that my stability control track is off, my control traction is off, and come on, people, get out of my way. Uh, you know, my, my, all my bells and whistles start going off, which usually means that I am low on oil. So I had been getting my oil changed every 3,000 miles. I got the cheaper deal at the oil place and I wouldn't even get to the 3,000 miles and I would have to add a quart of oil because I keep burning through it. So this time I thought, well, maybe it's the quality of oil. So I got the 6,000 mile oil and paid $20 more for it. I'm now 3,000 miles into it and I have no oil. By the time I get to the gas station, which is two miles from my house, the shit's like burning hot. Like there was no oil. None. So, <laughs> I'm so irritated because I paid $20 more for better oil and I still burned through all of it. Um, so it's obviously something wrong with my car, which is beside the point. I mean, it's not beside the point, but you know what I mean. So. Yeah, so I pull over at the gas station and I can't get the oil cap off. And there's one gentleman in the store that I can see, a little, not much bigger than me. I can't get the oil cap off and he's like, oh, I'll help. Yeah, he couldn't even budget. So I go back in to get a tool and find out that one of the guys is working there and I'm like, okay. But one of the girls was like, well, let me see if I can get it. She got it off like, I mean, she still struggled, but she got it off way quicker. Like she got it to move right away. And then anyway, she got it off, <laughs> which I thought was kind of amusing. But I put a quarter oil in and then I went back in to buy a second quart cause I was like, yeah, maybe I should put two quarts in if it was that low that it's like steaming hot. And then, oh, there's a cop, hold on. So then the guy at the register says something about antifreeze and I was like oh yeah I am low on antifreeze so I uh, bought a jug of antifreeze in the second quart of oil and he's like you might want to check your dipstick just to, to make sure it's not just the antifreeze so I go back out check the dipstick the dipsticks like below the grid line I was like okay well it's definitely the oil too so I put both in cars running fine I get like another maybe two miles down the road I'm smoking a cigarette because I'm stressing out and I don't know what happened it like flew out of my hand and goes right in the crevice between the seat and the console I'm like are you fucking kidding me right now so I pull over and I like put my hand in there and I, I got it between my fingers and I'm pulling it out and it drops I was like oh my god so I reached my hand back in there and I grabbed a hold of it better, pulled it out, finished smoking it, and here I am. So that's my morning. I hope you all are having a better day than me, and I hope you all have a great St. Patty's Day, and stay safe. Call a cab. Call a, call a, not a DUI. <laughs> Don't call a DUI. <laughs> call a sober cab, a sober friend, anything you gotta do to get home safe. Talk to you all later. Bye.